Hey everyone, welcome to the video. Today we're going to be diving into a CompTIA Tech Plus practice test. Perfect if you're starting out in IT or preparing for your certification journey. This exam is designed to validate your foundational tech skills, covering topics like hardware, software, networking basics, troubleshooting, and IT best practices. We're going to be using Skill Test Pro, which provides realistic exam style questions to help you get comfortable with the format and also build confidence. All right, enough talk. Let's get started. First question A computer runs slowly during multitasking, and the technician notices high disk activity. What should they upgrade? The CPU? The graphics card? Network adapter? RAM? Or power supply? The correct answer is RAM. High disk activity during multitasking suggests insufficient RAM, causing the system to use slower virtual memory on the disk. CPU affects processing, graphics cards handle visuals, network adapters manage connectivity, and power supplies provide power, none of those directly addressing disk activity. All right, next question. A network technician is setting up a topology that combines star and ring configurations for flexibility. Which topology is this? Bus, mesh, tree, hybrid, or star? The correct answer is hybrid. A hybrid topology combines multiple topologies, like star and ring, for flexibility. Bus uses a single backbone, mesh connects all devices, Tree is hierarchical, and star uses a central hub, none combining multiple types. All right, next question. An IT manager is purchasing software and needs to ensure compliance with usage limits. What should they review? The software license agreement? Hardware specifications? Network bandwidth? User permissions? Or the backup schedule? The correct answer is the software license agreement. The software license agreement specifies usage limits and compliance requirements. Hardware specs affect performance, bandwidth impacts connectivity, permissions control access, and backups protect data, none addressing licensing. All right, next question. A user accesses a website, but the browser warns of an invalid security certificate. Which protocol is likely involved? FTP, HTTP, HTTPS, SNMP, or Telnet? The correct answer is HTTPS. HTTPS uses security certificates to ensure secure web connections, and an invalid certificate triggers browser warnings. FTP transfers files, HTTP is unencrypted, SNMP manages devices, and Telnet provides unsecure access, none using certificates. All right, next question. A computer's clock is consistently incorrect even after manual resets. What should the technician replace? The RAM module? The graphics card? The network adapter? The drivers? Or the CMOS battery? The correct answer is the CMOS battery. A failing CMOS battery causes the system clock to reset or lose time as it powers the CMOS chip storing time settings. RAM, graphics cards, network adapters, and storage drives do not affect the system clock. All right, next question. A developer needs to track changes to a project's code base across multiple team members. Which tool should they use? Compiler? Debugger? Version control system, text editor, or integrated development environment? The correct answer is version control system. A version control system, e.g. Git, tracks code changes and coordinates team contributions. Compilers translate code, debuggers fix errors, text editors write code, and IDEs combine tools, none specifically tracking changes. All right, next question. A database administrator is designing a table and they want to ensure that the data is not redundant. Which process should they apply? Data encryption? Data validation? Data indexing? Data normalization? Or data backup? 
The correct answer is data normalization. Data normalization organizes tables to eliminate redundancy and ensure data integrity. Encryption secures data. Validation checks accuracy. Indexing improves query speed. And backups protect data, none addressing redundancy. All right, next question. A company needs software to integrate financial, HR, and inventory management. Which software type should they choose? CRM software, SCM software, ERP software, CAD software, or GIS software? The correct answer is ERP software. ERP, or Enterprise Resource Planning software, integrates financial, HR, and inventory management for streamlined operations. CRM manages customers, SCM handles supply chains, CAD designs objects, and GIS analyzes geographic data, none integrating all specified functions. All right, next question. An employee needs a device to back up sensitive project files off-site. What is the best portable storage option? A floppy disk? An external HDD? An optical disk? Magnetic tape? Or an internal SSD? The correct answer is an external HDD. An external HDD offers high-capacity portable storage for off-site backups. Floppy disks are obsolete. Optical disks have limited capacity. Magnetic tape is for archiving. And internal SSDs are not portable, making them less suitable. All right, moving on. Next question. A user reports that their external speakers produce no sound. What should the technician check first? Monitor brightness, network cable, sound card drivers, storage drive health, or BIOS settings? The correct answer is the sound card drivers. Missing or outdated sound card drivers can prevent external speakers from working. Monitor brightness affects display, network cables impact connectivity, storage health affects data, and BIOS settings control hardware initialization. None of these are related to audio output. All right, you guys are doing great. Let's keep going. A network technician needs to configure a device to assign IP addresses dynamically to new devices. Which device should they set up? Switch? Access point? Firewall? DHCP server? Or modem? The correct answer, DHCP server. A DHCP, or Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol server, assigns IP addresses dynamically to devices. Switches connect devices, access points enable wireless, firewalls filter traffic, and modems connect to ISPs, none handling IP assignment. All right, next question. A company needs to deploy software across multiple workstations without manual intervention. Which installation method should they use? Custom installation, network installation, manual installation, upgrade installation, or silent installation? The correct answer, silent installation. Silent installation automates software deployment without user interaction, ideal for multiple workstations. Custom and manual installations require input, network installations use shared resources, and upgrade installations update existing software none as efficient for mass deployment. All right, next question. A computer produces a single beep on startup, but it fails to display anything. What is the most likely issue? A failed RAM module? A loose monitor cable? An overheating power supply? A corrupted storage drive? Or outdated graphics drivers? The correct answer is a loose monitor cable. A single beep typically indicates a successful post, but no display suggests a loose or faulty monitor cable. Failed RAM causes multiple beeps or crashes. Overheating power supplies cause shutdowns. Corrupted drives prevent booting. And outdated drivers affect software, not initial display. All right, moving on. A network administrator notices that file transfers between departments are slow. 
what should they configure to optimize bandwidth allocation? VLAN, load balancer, bandwidth shaper, firewall rules, or access point channels? The correct answer is the bandwidth shaper. A bandwidth shaper controls and allocates network bandwidth to prioritize critical tasks like file transfers. VLANs segment networks, load balancers distribute server traffic, firewalls filter data, and access point channels manage wireless connections, none directly optimizing bandwidth. All right, moving on. Next question. A technician is troubleshooting a computer that boots slowly and shows multiple error messages. What should they check first to identify outdated hardware compatibility? BIOS version? Network adapter settings? Storage drive capacity? Monitor resolution? Or keyboard drivers? The correct answer, BIOS version. An outdated BIOS can cause slow booting and compatibility errors with modern hardware or software. Network settings affect connectivity, storage capacity impacts space, monitor resolution affects display, and keyboard drivers impact input, none of which directly cause boot errors. All right, moving on. <clears throat> An IT team needs to ensure critical systems remain operational during a power outage. What should they implement? A backup schedule? A business continuity plan? Network segmentation? Data encryption? Or intrusion detection? The correct answer is a business continuity plan. A business continuity plan ensures that critical systems remain operational during disruptions like power outages. Backup schedules protect data. Segmentation isolates networks. Encryption secures data. And intrusion detection monitors threats, none ensuring operational continuity. All right, next question. A developer creates a class that inherits methods from a parent class. Which programming concept is this? Encapsulation? Polymorphism? Inheritance? Abstraction? Or modularity? The correct answer is inheritance. Inheritance allows a class to inherit methods and properties from a parent class. Encapsulation protects data. Polymorphism enables multiple forms. Abstraction hides details. And modularity organizes code, none involving class inheritance. All right, moving on. A computer fails to power on and no lights are visible. What should the technician check first? RAM modules? Monitor cable, network adapter, motherboard connections, or the graphics card? The correct answer, motherboard connections. Failure to power on with no light suggests loose or faulty motherboard connections or a dead PSU. RAM causes crashes, monitor cables affect display, network adapters impact connectivity, and graphics cards affect video, not power issues. All right, moving on. A warehouse manager needs software to track stock levels and shipments. Which software type should they use? CRM software? CAD software? ERP software? GIS software? Or SCM software? The correct answer, SCM software. SCM, or supply chain management software, tracks stock levels and shipments. CRM manages customers, CAD designs objects, ERP integrates processes, and GIS analyzes geographic data. None suited for inventory tracking. All right, one more. A web server is placed in a network zone to protect the internal network. What is this zone called? The VLAN? The DMZ? The subnet? The LAN? or the WAN? The correct answer, the DMZ. A DMZ, or demilitarized zone, isolates public-facing servers like web servers from the internal network for security. VLANs segment networks, subnets divide networks, LANs cover local areas, and WANs span large regions. And that 
is a wrap for this round of Tech Plus practice questions. Great job making it through, everybody. If you're serious about passing the exam, well, then keep practicing and aim to complete hundreds of questions before test day. I've added the link to Skill Test Pro in the description down below and in the pinned comment down below so that you can explore their full set of practice tests. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Keep learning. You are building the foundation for a strong IT career.